Here's something to smile about and cheer. Ricky Valerie Cole has made history by becoming the first transgender model to win the prestigious title of Miss Netherlands 2023. With this stunning victory, 22-year-old Ricky Valerie has secured her spot at the coveted Miss Universe pageant, which will be held in El Salvador this year. Ricky is joining me on the broadcast today from Netherlands. Uh, Ricky, I think I should start by congratulating you. Many, many congratulations. This is a landmark win. Can I ask you what this moment feels like? Yeah, it was an amazing moment. I was in full disbelief and I couldn't believe that I just won Miss Universe Netherlands as the first trans woman ever. I wrote history and I'm so, so proud of that. Yes, but uh, before that historic moment, uh, I'm sure there was a lot of personal history as well. Uh, you know, a lot of transgender people across this world, I don't know about the Netherlands, but I know across this world, especially here in India, feel invisible. I, I want to ask you what your journey has been to this point. My victory is based on a personal story. Um, as a little kid, I always wanted to be like the princess, the queen. I played with the dresses and the crowns. Um, I made my own story and it is a personal one. I know that. And for trans people, it's really hard to step up and uh, have a victory. Um, so for me, it feels like a bless because I know it's very hard all over the world, uh, also in the Netherlands. Um, but I feel so, so, so blessed and I cannot wait to go to Miss Universe and tell everyone my story and show them Ricky. Just, 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 you know, uh, just talk to us about how Rick became Ricky. I believe at a very young age, at the age of eight, by the age of eight, uh, you had started feeling that you're not a boy, but a girl. What happens after that? Yes, my journey, uh, since I remember, I just wanted to be a girl. My parents found out really uh, at a young age. I was, I think, eight years old when I came to the hospital for first time. Um, then I had a lot of uh, questions um, and I went to doctors and they, got, they took tests on me. Um, after that, uh, I went on a waiting list and then uh, it started. I cut um, hormone blockers first for my um, manly hormones. And after that, when I was 16, I got my female hormones that gave me the female features um, now. And um, four and a half months ago, I had my um, surgery um, to be a... a the fully woman I wanted to be. Um, it was a long journey, and I think this journey will never end because I will always be a trans woman, and I'm really proud of that. The journey never ends, um, but I came from far, and I'm really happy that I'm standing here now. You know, they say that you can conquer mountains and win the world if you know that you have the love of your parents. Were your parents supportive through this journey? My parents always supported me from the moment I came out as a trans woman. Uh, I know it's a difficult thing um, all over the world. People were not accepted to be like a trans woman or trans man or queer. Um, for my parents, it was really um, a warm bath. They always supported me. They always were there for me. They, they always went with me to the hospital. Um, uh, my mom got um, um, angry to school because uh, I was bullied uh, on school and then she was like going for uh, uh, um, for the teachers to tell them why are you accepting this to let my kid uh, bullied by uh, the other class uh, mates uh, so she was always there for me she's like my biggest supporter and my father as well um, so yeah I'm really blessed with that Ricky, you're headed now to the prestigious Miss Universe pageant and only once before in the history of the pageant has a trans woman participated. It happened in 2018. There are enough critics who will say, why do trans women or transgender people have to 
participate in hetero, you know, in contests for women. They have contests of their own. Uh, you know, this is not fair. A lot of people will get up and say, why let Ricky participate uh, in the Miss Universe pageant when it is specifically for women? Well, I think um, everyone can share what they think. Uh, for us in the Netherlands, we live in a free country where you can share what you think. Um, at one side, I think I understand what they say with you have like uh, um, pageantry is also for trans women, but we have to stop putting people in placing in boundaries because um, I was allowed to go to Miss Universe Netherlands and to go to the casting as a trans woman. So then I also have a chance to win. Then uh, don't uh, put that from me because otherwise the um, organization had to say like, okay, uh, you cannot sign up as a trans woman, but there was the option and I did that and I won. But I also won because I'm Ricky and I have my story to tell. And uh, my story is not representing the person as Ricky. It's a part of me and I'm proud of that part, but there are a lot of other parts as well. You know, uh, uh, would you want to say anything to the LGBT plus community uh, here in India? Because the community is uh, in the Supreme Court right now asking for its right for same-sex marriages. Do you think your story gives everyone from the community hope? They're all, I hope this is a motivation for you and that you will get something out of it. Um, I also came from far and I know you go to hard times, but uh, remember, I'm always there for you. Um, just see it as a, as a start. We open doors and uh, many more will follow. But know that I'm always supporting you here from the Netherlands to India. Uh, I love you all. Ricky, thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining us here on Mirror Now and many, many congratulations. Thanks very much.